Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting AI video. Today, we're diving into Mimic PC, an all-in-one, cloud-based AI powerhouse where you can generate AI images, videos, and audio, train LoRa models, and unlock a world of possibilities, all from a single platform. This is a game changer. In the past, if you wanted to use stable diffusion, comfy UI, real voice cloning, face fusion, or RVC, you had to install multiple AI applications and have a powerful and expensive graphics card, easily costing thousands of dollars. But Mimic PC eliminates that hassle by offering all these AI tools in one cloud-based platform. No need for extra installations or expensive hardware. Automatic 1111, comfy UI, face fusion, RVC, voice conversion, and more at your fingertips. So whether you're a developer, designer, content creator, audio engineer, or just someone who loves AI, this is something you don't want to miss. Stay tuned as we put Mimic PC to the test. So first, click the link in the description to visit the website. Once you're there, you'll see all the available AI tools in front of you. For image generation, we have Focus and Auto 1111. For face swaps, there's Face Fusion. You can also browse AI tools by category, for example. Image generation, all tools related to creating AI images. Video generation, these tools help you create AI-generated videos. Face swaps, you have Face Fusion and Roop for swapping faces. LoRa model training, these tools let you train custom AI models. Audio generation, a variety of tools to generate AI-powered audio. Chatbots, there are two AI chatbot tools available. Aside from that, if you visit my apps, you'll see all the AI tools listed there as well. You can use the slider to browse through all the available tools. To run any tool, just click on Get Started. For example, let's try Face Fusion, a fantastic tool for face swapping. After selecting it, you'll need to choose your hardware. I've selected Medium, which is ideal for normal usage. It offers 16GB VRAM and 16GB RAM. There are two pricing options. Bargain mode. It's cheaper, 25 cents per hour. But you only get access when GPUs are available, so it's not always stable. Instant mode. This provides a stable workflow and costs 49 cents per hour. I personally recommend instant mode for a smoother experience. If you're looking for faster performance and more power, you can select large hardware, 99 cents per hour for smoother, high-speed AI processing. For those who need even more power, here are your options. Large Pro, $1.19 per hour with 24GB VRAM and 32GB RAM. Ultra, $1.19 per hour, but you get a massive 48GB VRAM and 32GB RAM. For everyday tasks, I find the medium option more than enough, which is why I stick with it most of the time. Better the hardware you choose, the more powerful GPU you'll get. You also get a free trial, where you can use it for up to 2 hours for free. Plus, you get 50 gigabytes of storage. All right, after selecting your hardware, you need to set up the runtime. By default, it's set to 30 minutes. If you want to run it for one hour, enter one in the first box and zero in the second box. I'm setting it back to 30 minutes since that's usually enough for me. Once your runtime is set, just click on create and start, and you're good to go. Once you start, launching any app can take 30 seconds to two minutes. After the app launches, you'll see your runtime displayed here. You can. Stop it when you're done. You can relaunch if needed. And you can extend it for more time. Now, in the first section, we need to upload the source image. In the second section, we upload the target image or video where we want to swap the face. To demonstrate, I've uploaded an image of Elon Musk as the source, and for the target, I'm uploading a video where we'll swap his face. You can preview the results live before finalizing. If you want to enhance the quality, you can use processors. Here's what I'm applying. Face Enhancer, Boosts Clarity. Face Debugger, refines facial structure. Deep Swapper, improves blending. Frame Enhancer, smooths motion. After setting everything up, just click Start, and the processing begins. You can monitor it in the Output section. Since we selected medium hardware and applied four processors, swapping a five-second video took around 200 seconds. Now, let's play both videos side by side to compare the results. If you want to make the face in your video stand out even more, just boost this slider up to 80%, 90%, or even 100% for the highest quality. Now you can switch the face swapper model if you'd like, but in my experience, InSwapper is hands down the best one. Once you're done, make sure to stop the app, because the longer it runs, the more it eats into your runtime. Also, keep in mind that every time you run an app, it gets saved in my apps, which can start filling up your storage. But no worries, you can clear it up super easily by deleting unnecessary apps, just like I'm doing right now. So, whenever your storage gets full, 
follow this quick trick to free up space. Mimic PC lets you use multiple AI tools and models in one place, all with just one subscription and without needing high-end hardware. Now, let's try out Auto 1111. First, we'll click on Get Started. Since the hardware is already selected, we can directly click on Start and Create to run it. The user interface is super simple and easy to use. In the prompt section, you need to enter a description of the image you want. Then, in the checkpoint option, you can choose the AI model you want to use for image generation. You'll find plenty of both new and older models here, meaning you can easily access the latest models with Mimic PC. Once you select the model, you need to set the width and height of the image based on your desired aspect ratio. For example, here, I'm setting the width to 1920 and the height to 1080, which is a full HD resolution. After that, just enter your prompt, like I did here. If you want, you can also add a negative prompt, but I'm skipping that since AI models have improved a lot and it's not always necessary. Now, to generate the image, just click Generate, and the image creation process will begin. Look at this. It generated an amazing high-quality image. Also, many AI text image models usually generate images at 1280 by 720 resolution, but with Mimic PC, you can create full HD images at double the speed, which is pretty amazing. Plus, there are even more settings to enhance image quality further. And if you ever have difficulty using any AI tool, you can check out the tutorial hub, where you'll find guides on how to use each app. That wraps up this video on Mimic PC. Make sure to check it out using the link in the description. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.